All right, so I have to ask, how many languages do you speak? My mother language is German. Uh, okay, of addition, course. I speak English as well as Spanish and French. You were telling me a little bit about Swahili in there and some Chinese words that you've learned a little bit, a few? Well, I've just been to Tanzania, so I know a bit uh, Swahili. Oh, so cool. <laughs> it's a Hakuna Matata, obviously, so don't sure. worry. <laughs> uh, Asante Sana. Very good, nice. Uh, jumbo, which means hello. Okay. And then I think that Washi Mika means my name is Mika. I'm not sure, and I think that's wrong when a Chinese You're person hears me. <laughs> putting it out there. <laughs> about your job as an experienced designer, what concepts are you thinking about on a daily basis? Mixed reality, human machine interface, things like this? Well, in general, um, I'm highly inspired by HMI concepts okay. that enable the user to feel, not only see, but really feel and explore something that's not there. I think and that's going to be a big part of it yes, moving forward. Yes. And for the, next soft, uh, for the next generation of software, I really want to have a higher level of emotional experience okay. that okay. can maybe also connect people together. I like this. Tell me about AR and VR and mixed reality in your job. Well, when I think about AR and mixed reality, I mean, that are really cool concept. They make the virtual world really tangible. Yeah. And for the user, the immersion is so much easier. Okay. Um, it's impressive. And then even going further, I'm also highly inspired by machine learning. Okay because they empower the user to be highly productive with that little input. So, thinking about heads-up displays, car manufacturers making future heads-up displays with a lot of information, a lot of infographics, how we're going to respond and interact with that. Does that something dominate, you know, does something like that dominate your thinking as well? Just imagine that your daily use software can really feel and know what you really need. So, for example, when you interact with the software, mm -hmm. um, it would adapt automatically the interface layout plus its toolbars and eliminate gotcha. friction. Or, for example, it could execute commands in a row based on patterns to avoid that you as a user need to repeat steps over and over again. That would be so annoying. That's something a, a lot of our customers talk about, that repetition over and over kind of thing. Yeah, and it's not only about personal it's also supporting the user, right. brings him up to the next level. Right. Okay, so last question. What's the most fun part about your job? Actually, um, I would say the ideation and concept activities with my cross-functional team. So really brainstorming about how we can solve a problem and how we can make the impossible possible. Um, like working that. in silos, it doesn't really, really lead to um, great user experience. But I have not only my user experience design colleagues, but I also have learning experience. I have researchers, right. I have SMEs, I have the developers, and then right. also the customers. And actually, it's, it's a bomb of ideas and really great knowledge. That sounds cool. Well, I'm sure you're off to customer meetings. You've got a whole lot more going on today. Thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. Good to see Thank you. you.